Hello guys, this is Guess and welcome to my channel Guess Who's Playing. Um, today I wanted to show you how you can complete the time and wind side quest and how you can reach the nameless island in Genshin Impact. First, you need to know that there are two ways of reaching the island. One is by gliding and the other is by using Kaya and freezing the water um, and reaching this. The first one is a much quicker way. Uh, if you have Venti, uh, Venti, if you don't know, helps one of his talents is that he decreases all party members gliding stamina consumption by 20%. The same thing goes also for um, Amber, who has the same passive. Um, also, you can um, you can eat some, um, some uh, stamina decreasing uh, food. For example, this one decreases the stamina consumption by 20% um, or this one 25. This one decreases gliding and sprinting uh, by 25. But I will not uh, use one. I wanted to show you with Venti how you can reach it. Just hit his E. He's going up and then just flow towards the island. Um, the second one, as I mentioned, the second method is using Kaya. Um, the, this one will take a longer time, around 10 to 15 minutes. Um, he just uh, freeze the water and just go, um, go as uh, he is freezing it. You can use also Shang Yung. He helps also uh, freeze the, air, the water. But okay. Uh, once we reach this uh, the island, you need to go here on in the south. Um, you will find a shovel here near the the rocks. Once you um, take out the the shovel, your quest will will start. Uh, not the shovel, but once you dig out the the um, uh, what is buried underneath sure, this rock. Your quest will start and it says go and observe the shadow on the sundial. What we need to do now is come here to the sundial. And um, in order to trigger the quest, we need to set our watch to 2 a.m. In, uh, in the morning. And let's do that. Okay, nine, one, two, yeah, okay, two oh five, doesn't matter, around two. Once you um, set the, the dial to the, your time to two o'clock, the, the quest will, will begin and um, Come on, traveler. you go. will need to use, uh, you, you will have uh, four or four orbs will appear. Uh, you need to use your elemental vision to see them. So you see the one behind there. Just float to the to the to this one. You have you need to have a wind user um, either by shooting it with venti like this will trigger um, the. The, the first one. Oh, uh, you also have a very nice treasure here. Don't don't forget to to uh, take it. It's a luxurious chest. Uh, gives you a lot of good uh, rewards. Okay, now the second one. Let's look for it. You see the it guides you. You see there on the rock, that's the second one. Um, using Venti helps you because you just need to to shoot it. Like this. Okay. Then the next one is up there. You can see it. We need to to climb up 
Of course, if you don't have Venti, you can use any other uh, wind user. Uh, for example, I have Jean. You can just uh, go to Jean or any other wind uh, user and just press E. And uh, as you saw, the um, the um, this wind uh, orb is smashed. And the last one is over there. You can see it. Let's glide. You can run towards it or you can shoot it for a f from afar with Venti. Like this. Uh, I didn't get it. Okay. Once all of them are uh, destroyed, there will be um, uh, some wind hurricane that appears. And we need to go there. In the middle of this um, wind hurricane, you can see there's a huge die, a huge wind orb. Okay, we need to destroy this wind orb. After that, uh, the the um, the we boss will here. will appear. Uh, of course, it's it's a wind uh, wind um, uh, user. So any wind attacks aren't uh, going to affect it. So uh, if you have, and as I said, the wind boss appears. Uh, you need to to uh, uh, fight this one. Uh, this one is pretty easy. You, if you have uh, an archer, once you um, um, the boss, you need to, to take the boss around 25% and after that the boss will retreat. Um, once it will retrieve, it will, um, it, it, as you can see, it retreats. You need to follow that um, using this uh, gust of wind um, and this they will, they will take you to the Thousand Winds Temple. Where the second part of the fight will will uh, commence. So, if you don't have anything to to do on this uh, island for now, uh, just follow this. If not, you can uh, explore. There's uh, if you don't didn't take the chest that I, that I told you, do it now because there's no teleport waypoint back. You need to follow the same. Uh, you need in order to come back you need to uh, swim or glide or use ice as i told you okay let's follow the um, the wind currents the second fight will be a lot more uh, hard than the first one so um, let's go down as you can see we are here thousand wind temple um, there's another sundial mm. in order to activate this we need again to set our time to 2 a.m. Okay, 2:10. And uh, again, there will there will appear another. Uh, there will appear three wind orbs. Um, you can you can find them just by using your um, your elemental vision. One, two, three. Uh, use a wind user and just destroy them. Of course, they will spawn this uh, small um, wind slimes. Uh, just destroy them because you don't need them to hang around during your boss fight. The third one is here. Okay. And the third... Oh, 
is around here. There are four, not three. Sorry about that. I counted three, but there are four. Doesn't matter. Don't forget to, to destroy this slime before um, before entering the boss fight. And the third, the fourth one. Just kill them. All right. Now, once the all four um, w wind slimes uh, were, or, or all four wind orbs were were um, destroyed, another big wind orb, orb will appear, as you can see here. Uh, okay. <laughs> you need to destroy it also using a wind user. Very important now. This boss is uh, more. Um, it is harder than the first one. Uh, it also spawns some wind slimes. You don't need to to worry about those. They they're just jumping on you. The the worry is when he spawns some wind users because they have some hurricanes or tornadoes mm, yeah. that they attack with and those really hurt you. So um, what what I suggest you you to do. Eat some, um, um, eat some food, defensive food, attack food. I'll eat some, some attack food in this case. Also very important, if you have some uh, wind resistant potions, use that. If you don't know where to get this, you can, you can craft it um, at the Alchemy um, Laboratory. So go to Mondstadt go to alchemy and just uh, make yourself uh, um, uh, wind resistant potions it, it it would help because all of the um, all of the enemies are wind um, or animal um, enemies okay I'll, I'll, I'll also use that uh, you can put off up also defensive this one is uh, 200 I'll use this one okay so if you see here I have the attack I have the potion against wind and I have the um, the one with defense all right then let let's destroy now using a wind user and the spawn will uh, the the boss will spawn okay not the Like that. Okay. As I told you, don't worry about this one. this one appeared let's finish him quick uh, I hate these guys okay kill them quick okay Okay, so now that we destroyed and and um, killed the um, uh, the boss, the quest is is almost over. As it states here, we need to talk to Henry. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> uh, 
you get an achievement, you get 60 Primo Gems, which is pretty nice. Um, you get 60,000 Mora, and um, yeah, that, that's uh, the whole um the whole quest as i saw as you saw i used the official she's very good for this electro if you have also fire also helps um, maybe um, if if you you have an archer fire archer like um, like amber also helps but uh, yeah in any case if you found this um, video helpful Please leave a comment, like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Peace out.